hi. Welcome to Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and creativity begins. So today I want to start off by first apologizing for not posting on my regular Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. But on Saturday night I had to take my little guy to the ER. He fell, got hurt, had to get a staple in his head. So yeah, I've been a little bit behind. But I know you guys are all here to find out who won the Rick and Morty giveaway for July and also to catch up on the Lunar Zodiac Challenge for progress. Remember that this is rated T for Teen, ages 12 plus, but the winner for the Rick and Morty Challenge is going to be hidden inside this video. So please bear with me and stay tuned and try to find the section in the video where I announce the winner. Alexander over um rear this is like a couple days after our ghost date so apparently they really like each other so hopefully he's gonna be dad number one to start the Aries generation and as much as I would like for Diana to settle down that unfortunately is not in the cards for her her true love is Helios the sun so she's trying to get those 12 magical daughters to take her place so that she can do what she needs to do and reunite with the sun and be with him instead of switching places. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at his leg. Just kick out. Ooh. Get stuck together like that. Is she like chewing gum? Like what is going on? Who does that? I don't understand where they get their, their like animations for this. Like who does that? Like, who sticks their leg out like that? That's so funny. Come on. Where's the try for baby? No, we can't ask you to be our boyfriend, unfortunately. Apparently he really liked that. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I want to try to get the relationship bar, like, all the way up. So he, like, really, really likes me. Or really, really likes Diana. In the hopes that, um... We can get multiples, maybe? I don't know. That would be cool, but I don't know if that really works or not. I've heard, but I don't know. Okay, just to try for baby. Okay, so we're gonna try, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, we're blowing kisses. It's like one of those dudes from Jersey Shore. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. They're like little kids going to the TV, like gonna go watch movies or something. Like, squee! Oh boy, so this is where, oh my gosh, look at his boxer shorts. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we're just gonna go over here. Wow, look at that nice couch and that awesome robot that I have over here. Isn't he cool? It's a really nice robot. And my nice flat screen TV and... <laughs> Yeah, look, kids. There's nothing. There's nothing going on behind the curtain. Don't don't look behind the curtain. Nothing behind the curtain. Okay, I think the coast. Oh my gosh, what a creeper! Look at that. They just hooked up, and he's just gonna stand there, staring at her while she sleeps like a weirdo. Go home. <laughs> you don't live here. Get out. Oh, no wonder she's like super tired. She's like, just gonna go to sleep. I'm already in the bed. There's no point. Alright, so this is the next morning. So we're going to get up, we're going to go to the bathroom, and we're going to see where we're at in our lives. So, simulated bathroom. Actually, there are people that have taken the pixels off of this, and like if you notice, she doesn't pull her pants down or anything, so like when they take the pixels off, like they're totally normal. Hey! Eating do 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 we're pregnant do 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 Aries generation Oh gross <laughs> Gross 
That's like going to the bathroom and then turning around and throwing up in it and then having to clean it. Yeah. It's true. Alright, so this is a couple days later, just hanging out, trying to make money, breeding frogs, because that makes some money, running around in the park behind the house, um, gathering collectibles, trying to just get some money saved up, because we only have 223 simoleons before this baby gets here. Like, the struggle is real. The struggle is real and legit. We're gonna sell these onions, because nobody likes onions. We're gonna sell these roses. Holy Lord in heaven, we made $2,320 off those roses. Dang. There's a lot of roses that we picked up. Whoa, and a lot of snapdragons. $2,560 worth of snapdragons. That's amazing. That's so good right now because we totally need this money. So now we're going to paint. Paint, paint, paint it up. Well, that's kind of cool. And we're going to sell that because we need to make some moonies. We got 12 little girls. We got to birth onto this planet and get raised up and all those good things. So I don't care how sick you feel. You got stuff you got to do. Welcome to being an adult. We have to deal. Deal life. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna make a salad. Look at this crazy knife work. Look at that. Cha -da, cha -da. Crazy. Salad, salad, salad. Daydreaming. Why would you sniff your salad? I don't even know. Who does that? What are you thinking of? Ew! You're picking your ear. Gross! Oh, yum! Earwax salad. There's nothing like earwax salad for your pregnant baby, your belly. I don't even know. For your pregnantness, earwax salad. It's delicious. That must be just, just great for you. Gross. Diana, what the heck? And she's over there sniffing the salad. Yeah, I just totally put my own earwax in it. It's good. Gross. So gross. So, yeah, there's some, just lots of sleeping, lots of eating, lots of gathering goods for money. Not a whole lot exciting going on. But, um, I think here in a little bit, as soon as she has the Aries baby, we're going to go ahead and try to get pregnant with the next batch of kids. So, here we go. This is, like, three days later, because, like, in Sim World, like, a Sim is, like, pregnant for, like, three to four days. So, here we go. She's in labor. Diana's going to have the Aries baby. But first, got to turn off the TV, apparently. Look at that waddle. <laughs> so pregnant. If only labor was this easy, look at this. She just stands over the bassinet and just breathes heavy. <laughs> there we go. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Because if it's a boy, we have to give it away to its dad. <gasps> Yay, it's a girl. Okay, we already thought about the name. We're going to name her Aurora. Artemis, because that's got a nice ring to it, and this is our Aries generation baby. So she's the beginning of the zodiac circle, and she's our first little squiggles. Yay, squishies! Uh oh, she's already teed off too. She's like, I'm in the world, I'm mad, I hate you guys, this place is cold. Can't even give me a blanket. My little bassinet here. Like, what the heck? What the heck? Oh, and if you guys wonder why it's blurred out, she's nursing the baby. She's nursing the squiggles. The little squiggles. So, yeah, this is all super cute and adorable. Little Aries baby. Do -do -do -do. Homecoming friends, it's all good. Everybody likes everybody. 
<laughs> Yay! So now we have Aries generation started. So here in a little bit, I'm gonna do um, a discussion about the Aries zodiac sign and what all that entails. But first, she's gonna call up Craig. Is your name Craig? Cedric. I was calling Craig. Oh my goodness. His name's Cedric. We're gonna invite Cedric to hang out after we play in garbage, apparently. <laughs> but we're gonna have Cedric come over and we're gonna see if we can get another batch of tiny human baking. Uh, since we already got one going, so we're going to call Cedric, our favorite redhead, over, and we're going to see if we can get the Taurus generation a cooking while the Aries generation is enjoying its infancy. Look at that. Just walks up in my house and uses my sink. You don't know me like that. The heck? Alright, yay! We like each other pretty good. We gotta like get to know each other a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna try to maximize the relationship bar. I think again to try to see if we can. I don't know. Have a better outcome with our baby. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanna. See if that makes a difference. I hate that like bar that pops up by their head that like tells us that they're like playful and stuff. It gets in the way of the camera. If anybody knows how to make that go away, that would be greatly appreciated. Look at him. What? Oh, he's so mad right now. Look at that face. Mm. <laughs> Eyebrow. Apparently, that was not what he wanted to hear. Oh my goodness. See, look, we have the option to make a baby already, but I want to, I want it to max out. I really do. Because I'm hoping that we're going to get some better results that way. But I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. I love how they're just like flirting and stuff and there's like a baby right there. Just like, she just had a baby, but she's ready to be... Back in the action of things, I guess. They're smooching on the couch like a bunch of teenagers. My olive green couch. Do, do, do. Olive green couch. Y'all are just gonna stare deeply into each other's eyes. What the heck is going on in the background? Like, no one lives in this house with Diana besides baby Aurora. So, who in Sam Hill is sleeping in her bed right now? So, like, they're just, like, kissing it up on the couch, but someone is in her bed. Someone is sleeping in her bed. Is Alexander, like, secretly? Oh, look at this. She did the yawn and stretch. That's so funny. She's like, you caught me. That's right. I did the yawn and stretch. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> just gonna rub our heads together. Aw. A little forehead kiss. So it's like Alexander, and then they scoot away. <laughs> so it's like Alexander, like, sleeping at our house right now? Like, what is going on? Like, that's not, that's not kosher. Um, what's going on? Let's investigate. This is so, look at that stinky pile of garbage. <gasps> oh my goodness. The ghosts are back. They followed us from the date. There's like a ghost here. There's no person in that bed. It is time for the Rick and Morty giveaway winner. So we're going to go to the Rick and Morty video. Look right to y'all. Or I'll pause it because you guys don't need my intro music more than once. And we're going to scroll down. And we had 11 comments, but I think one was a duplicate. Just one. So I'm going to pull up my list that I made. 
So we got Rodrigo Gaming here, Frost Hammer, check. Rod the Gamer, check. Um, Chili, Chillist, Sarah, Setifiga, check. Jordan Reese, check. Helena and Silva, check. Keith B523, check. And then if you go down, let me go down one more. Oh, it's being poopy. Um, no, I am not. I'm doing the giveaway. Okay, and then we got Austin Gauger. Austin Gauger. Because <laughs> Rodrigo Gaming already entered up here, so we don't want to duplicate. So here's our list. So then we're going to go to random, random list dot org. We're going to move everything so you guys can see what we're doing. And so then I'm going to take my nice list, copy, paste, and then we're going to randomize. And we're going to go one more time again just to make sure that we're nice and shuffled. So there are eight entrances for this contest. So we go to our next randomizing website here where I got it nice and blown up. There's eight max. We're gonna pick one. So we're gonna click. All right, so then we got number eight generated. So then go back to the list. And it looks like Miss Satufiga is going to be our lucky winner. So you are going to need to check the information in the description for my email address so that I can get your mailing address so I can send you your Rick and Morty prize. Congratulations on your win. And we're back with Miss Diana and Mr. Cedric, and it's go time. So we're going to get the Taurus generation a cooking. We're going to chase this ghost out of here. This is ridiculous. And, oh, it's gone. The heck? Okay. So things are going on. We're just going to look at the baby. She's doing good. Baby's happy. Just having a good old time. And that stinky garbage is just emanating green fumes from the background. Oh, there she comes. Might as well take care of her stinky baby. I changed some diapers. Look at that. Cedric complaining about stinky smells. That he's not going to do nothing about it. He's just going to whine. Look at that. He's like, I'm just gonna chill here. Don't mind me. Oh, he just leaves. Bye. <laughs> He's gonna hang out like Alexander, all creepy. Oh, it's a baby Aurora. It's a baby Aurora. Just a cute. Cutie, so cutie. And we are officially. A toddler and the Aries trait for the toddler is going to be according to the rules fussy oh great oh my goodness look at this red hair where did this red hair come from neither Diana nor Alexander have flaming red hair like this this is crazy town I'm gonna have to go into create a sim and like fix this a little bit because I can't deal with Bozo the Clown over here <laughs> like wowzers wowzers like we need to we need to fix her just a smidgen yeah she's gonna have a fit because she's fussy pants all right so we're back in the kitchen and we are pregnant with the Taurus generation looks like we're making fish. 
cooking, 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 cooking. She has like the stove like I had in college. Oh snap, son. She just dropped it on the stove. All right, so now that we are baking happily the Taurus generation, let's talk about the Aries generation. So Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. Always begins at the spring equinox. The date for Sun Aries differs each year, but are around March 20th, and it runs through April 19th. Aries is the ram. The personality of the Aries is like a ram. Sudden and at times aggressive, bursts forward to crash or ram against obstacles. Aries rules the head and face. So watch out for headaches, and if you're involved in physical sports, wearing protective headgear is a good idea. The Aries teen has time on their side, since the sign rules adolescence. Aries element is fire. For a na Aries element is fire. For a nature that's brightly lit, excitable, raring to go, forceful, urgent. Some Aries deal with too much fire that you learn to deal with throughout trial and error. Aries quality is cardinal for the spirit of imagination and being a leader at school or in friend circles. Aries ruling planet is Mars. Yeah, the red one. Aries, the sign of discovery, the I am, fully is opposite to air sign, Libra, and the sign of relationships. At times, the Aries can be experienced as bossy or even a bully. The friction of fights is something you thrive on. You shine when you, blah, when you turn that into reaching for your own personal best through sports, artistic courage, or even first in anything. You can you often get crushes fast and also move on quickly. So you can unintentionally leave a trail of broken hearts. So be aware of this. Like in love, you are a super enthusiastic and sometimes, but drop it when all of a sudden you become bored. It's very hard for you to stick with anything unless you feel challenged and alive while doing it. So be aware of this, kids. You're growing into your sign, and you have to be aware that you tend to get bored, and if something's not a challenge, you tend to not be interested anymore. So you have to keep challenging yourselves physically and mentally, and watch your tempers, and to be careful that you're not just jumping into things headlong. Since the element of this astrological sign is fire, the suitable... A uh, lucky color for Aries is all shades of red, particularly red and scarlet. These colors will act as an extractor of negative and absorber of positive in your life. Wearing or using things in your lucky color brings in health, wealth, success, and prosperity into your life. Lucky stones are red coral and amethyst for Arians. And wearing your lucky colors in your lucky stones can continue to help you to bring in positive vibes. And remember, because you're a ram, and you think with your head, and it's always the beginning sign, Arians tend to be stubborn, and even though you're a ram, bullheaded. So you sometimes tend to live in your head too much. So remember that, you know, being short-tempered and... Um, kind of rushing into things sometimes is your downfall, so be aware. However, you are natural born leaders, you are strong, you are confident, you have charisma, people tend to like you, but remember, you've got that hot headedness that you gotta keep in check, and it's especially prominent in teenagers. So, you guys really gotta watch your tempers around each other, especially if you're an Aryan. So let me just say, um, while I was all busy talking about the Aries zodiac sign, I didn't even like really pay attention to what's going on on the screen. Look at this. Look how good a dad Alexander Silva is. Look at this. He's such a good dad. To Aurora, it's a real shame that the Moon Goddess can't get married because he really seems like 
he would be spot on good, honest daddy material. Because, like, look at this. He's just, like, visiting and chilling. And, yeah, it's just awesome. And then I didn't even comment on the fact that, like, look at this. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. We got, we hit, like, the baby jackpot. We have two babies. We got twins. So one is the Taurus generation, and then the other one is the Gemini generation. And actually, the sign of the Gemini is twins. So for the Gemini kid to be a twin, that's, like, just, like, mind-boggling. That's awesome. So there's that. So we got uh, Tara, who is the Taurus kiddo. And then we have Naomi, who is the Gemini kiddo, and it's just, just cool. Oh, look at, look at Alexander. He's over here changing baby diapers. They aren't even his kids. Look at this. Look at this. He's trying to be all daddy over here. Oh, it's adorable. We, like, hired him to be, like, a caterer and, like, cook food and stuff because we just had two babies and we ain't got time for that. And look at this. Look at this. He's trying to daddy all these little girls. They're not even his little girls. It's so cute. So cute. Can't even express this level of adorableness. It's just, it's just adorbs. Adorbs. Alright, so according to broadlyvice.com, I'll post a link in the description down below. Fire signs are... <laughs> Uh, fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and they have the crabbiest teen phase in the entire Zodiac. Fire is all about strength and protection, and it's also very passionate, of course, but fire can burn you. These signs are big on being superior to anyone else, especially to those who try to cross them. Aries teens are big instigators and aren't ones for letting anything go. They're the friends who still won't talk to that girl from the fourth grade who made fun of you for going through puberty, or puberty early. Uh, they are renowned for defending the underdog if they choose to. Okay, It's one of those things where you guys have to honestly choose to do it otherwise you kind of come across as like a bully so it's one of those things you guys have to be you guys and girls have to be aware of as fire signs you got so much heat you got to be careful where you're throwing the flamethrower all right are you protecting people or are you hurting people just to be mean and vindictive so these are things that you have to be aware of as aries as you grow up, it's going to be awesome. It's going to help you out a lot with your careers and your jobs because you are motivated. You are aggressive in getting what you need and what you want for yourself. But as a teenager, those attributes can come out in ways that will get you in trouble, like fighting and talking back and being kind of bullish to people that you don't like. Alright, so keep all that stuff in tabs as much as you can. I know it's hard because you have that short temper to you, but it will come out valuable for you in the end, in the grand scheme of things. They're so happy. Alright, so it's the next day, and it's about time that the kiddos age up, and I, I get lost, and I forget myself, and I actually age them up, like, backwards. So this is Naomi, and we're gonna age her up. It should be Tara first. Ah, oh, son of a gun. I spelled her name wrong, so I have to fix that here in a little bit. But, uh, Naomi is technically the Gemini baby, so the the toddler trait for the Gemini baby is, I gotta look it up really quick, it is, in fact, here we go, it is silly, so Gemini is going to be silly, silly Naomi, and I gotta go into create a sim and fix her name, because that is not how it's spelled. 
nope, nope, nope. And man, look at that red hair, that shock of red hair. That's crazy town. Now, we gotta feed and like change diaper and cuddle um, little Tara before we uh, age her up because we don't want to age up unhappy infants. So we gotta give her a little bit of doves so we can age her up. And since they're twins, I wonder if Tara's gonna look like Miss Naomi or if they're gonna look completely different. It's gonna be interesting to see. So let's go ahead and age her up. No, you're not going to bed. No. You got stuff to do, woman. Get over here, Diana. Gotta take care of all these babies. Well, toddlers at this point. So here we go. And whoop. So Tara is the Taurus baby. So I need to go look for the toddler trait for Taurus. And the toddler trait for Taurus is independent. So yay! And now she's super tired. Look at this. Tara is like hiding under her mom's butt. <laughs> And now we have a house that has three toddlers, Aurora, Tara, and Naomi, and they're just like toddler terrors. Look at them, just like waddle, 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 waddle. And then I waddled away, waddle, waddle. Then I waddled away, waddle, waddle. Oh my goodness, they're just cute. Oh, cutie pies. So their, their papa is Cedric Cardine, I think is his last name and he definitely has red hair but I don't know if I want the girls to have so I don't know if I want the twins to have their mama's complexion or not I think I'm gonna change them up so that like that complexion that um, Tara has will kind of be what Naomi has so they'll be more like twins um, but we will see, and I just now realized watching Aurora go to sleep that they don't have a bed. <laughs> oh boy. So, um, this is part three of the Lunar Zodiac Challenge. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.